Okay, so this is supposed to be your homework uh, for you to try out. So please try it out before you watch the video. Okay, so uh, D3, a small object of mass 2 kg. So annotate this to be M. Moves along a track as shown in the figure below. The speed of the object at point A is 4 meter per second. That means it has a speed of 4 meter per second here. And at B, it is 1 meter per second. So the speed here is 1 meter per second. So maybe I call this VB and I call this VA. Okay. The length of the track AB is 2.5. That means from A all the way down and up, the length is 2.5 meters. Okay. And A, uh, at A, the height is 1 meter. At B, the height is 1.4 meters, right? Okay, so calculate the energy in the gravitational potential store, so EP, of the object at A equals to MGH. So the mass is 2, the G is 10, the height is 1, so it is 20 joules. Okay, calculate energy in a kinetic store of the object at A, so EK equals to half mv square half 2 4 square right that's the v so it will be 16 joules so what's the total energy in both the stores will be uh, 36 joules you just add them up okay calculate the energy in the g uh, gravitational potential store of the object at b at B, the height is 1.4 meters. Okay, so equals to mgh. The mass, there's no change. So it will be 28 joules. Calculate energy in a kinetic store. So Ek equals to half mv squared again. Half, the mass is 2. The V is 1 squared. Right, so answer is 1 joules. Calculate the total energy will be 29 joules. So the initial energy was 36, final is 29. Right, so what is the difference in energy store? Will be 36 minus 29. So equals to 7 joules. Okay, now calculate the average frictional force acting on the object. So this uh, 7 joules is actually transferred to the surrounding uh, internal store internal store of the surrounding right so it is not given back it is not transferred to the kinetic store nor a uh, gravitational potential store of the cut of the object right so this 7 joules is considered not returned to the uh, object so there must be frictional force okay and we know that from this formula work done equals to force times displacement okay so we'll be using this work done because it is to do work against frictional force and it requires 7 joules the force is actually the frictional force and it must be in the direction of the uh, the distance traveled must be in the direction of the force and because it's a curve we will have to use the length of the track because at every point of this track there will be frictional force but not every point of the track will have the same frictional force okay that's why we are just calculating the average frictional force so the track is 2.5 meters I believe therefore the frictional force is 7 over 2.5 okay so the answer is 2.8 newtons all right okay i'll be going through uh these answers in the next video okay so uh please try your d3